Hi guys, because over here and this is Vier Genius. Guys, today I'm with a new video around Orange Pi Zero. We'll see how to run Java applications on it. For this, I'm going to use Lubuntu OS on the Pi Zero. So if you have not already installed Lubuntu on your Orange Pi Zero, you can do so by following my earlier tutorial on that, for which I have provided the links down below in the description. So if you are a Java developer and interested to work on some IoT projects using the Orange Pi Zero, this is definitely going to help you. One more thing, the Pi Zero has also got support for GPIO access by using Java, so that you can also interact with peripheral devices using it, which actually I am going to show in upcoming videos. So, guys, being said that, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, to continue with this, power off your Orange Pi Zero and connect it to a local network as we are going to use SSH for application execution on Orange Pi Zero and uh, we are going to use FTP to transfer our application developed on our PC to the Orange Pi Zero and we will run it there. Again over here I am going to use Lubuntu OS with Orange Pi Zero and if you are new to this, you can check out my earlier video on this like how to install. Ubuntu onto your SD card and boot up on Orange Pi Zero and basic setups. So let's first connect to our Orange Pi Zero by this application that is WinSCP that will be used to transfer uh, files from our PC to Orange Pi Zero. So it will take IP of the Orange Pi Zero. Again, if you are new to the, like IP setup and all, you can check out my earlier tutorial. And the username is Orange Pi password is orange pi click on login now let's open up the terminal by using putty and the first thing we need to check is if java is installed on orange pi 0 or not by default so we can check that by using the command java then version and you can see the Lubuntu OS is not shipped to it, we install Java. So we need to install Java first, then only we can run our application. So to install JDK or JRE, we can use the command sudo apt-get install default JRE. and it will ask you to download this much of uh, like archives and all go ahead with y and the installation may take some time so wait for it to finish And now it has finished installation and we have installed OpenJDK version 7. So you can check out the installed Java version. Same again using the command Java. And you can see something like 1.7.095. Now let's develop our application on PC and we will transfer the executable jar file to the Orange Pi Zero and we will run it there. So open up Eclipse or any ID that you are using but over here I am going to use Eclipse only. And over here create a new project. Uh, let's say give it a name. demo and make sure you are using the JRE version that is like over here so it is using 1.7 and if I compile with 1.8 it will generate major minor exception error uh, so let's change it to 1.7 
and click on finish create a new class file <coughs> oh sorry I clicked not interface I need to create a class file let's say I name it main class and just include the public static environment method and I'll just have a simple print element statement that will print hello world onto the terminal Now we need to create executable jar application of this project. So to make it, run it once. And you can see it is printing hello world into the console. So just close that one. Click on project. Click on export. And over here under Java, select runnable jar file click on next and on launch configurations you select your project currently you are developing that is opi0 demo and the class file that you want to use as the main interface or you are containing the polystatic voidman method so i'll go ahead with that and select a destination where you want to export and you can select any options over your library handling but it is useful if you are using copy required libraries into subfolder because that will not increase the size of your main jar file or the main application it will export the required libraries into a different folder so each time we don't need to like uh, transfer heavy uh, high volume application onto your orange spice zero so if you want to test out you can try out the three methods and you can simply check out the differences now open up in SCP and over here let's say get into desktop where I have exported my application onto I'll select desktop over here and select the generated jar file along with the lib folder so if you are using any third party libraries those libraries will be exported to this test dot or test underscore lib folder but as right now we have not used any third party libraries this folder is empty you can check out like this now head over to terminal and navigate to desktop and over here to run the file you can use the command java jar as we are going to come run a jar file and the application name that is test jar sorry jar and you can see over here it is printing out hello world so we have successfully installed java onto our orange spice zero using lubuntu operating system and we have developed our application on desktop using eclipse and all and we uploaded the file or generated executable jar file to the orange spice zero and it is working fine over there so that's all for today guys thank you thanks for watching if you have liked this video you can hit the thumbs up button and you can check out my other videos too and if you are not subscribed yet you can subscribe to my channel for latest updates so see you next time with my next video till then goodbye